Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new video here with Wrong Note Bros. I am Wrong Note Crux Lambs Candy and this is Wrong Note We Wob Weather. And we are here today to talk to you about something very, 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 very special to both of us and the channel as a whole. Yes. We apologise for the late video. There was a little bit of complication in the video we were filming before. However, we are here to start the, the hype for Harper because we're almost done. We've almost called wrap on it. We've only got four, three or four more shoots left to do, so it's nearly going to be released, boys and girls. We're almost there, and me and Matt are here today to try and get the hype going properly. Most of you are probably up to date with us on social media, so you're aware of what has been going on with the production. However, me and Matt thought it would be a good idea to kind of Speak about it a bit more on YouTube, try and get the hype going and keep you guys in the loop that don't follow us on social media. Very simple video but very effective one. We're just going to run down all the characters and the actors and who they play in the series. So what we're going to do today, we are going to kind of have a look at the cast. We're going to introduce you to every single member and kind of go through what their role is in Harper. And trust me, it is a lot. We're going to start off with somebody that you all know and all are very familiar with on the channel. It is Ewan, Soap Suds Southgate. Ewan obviously plays the part of Harper and this has been on my brain for seven years now. I've wanted him to play this part and let me tell you, he does not disappoint. Ewan mostly acts as a comic actor in the, in the channel, you know, from his previous roles as Smoke. Obviously it's the same Harper, Harper as Smoke. But Smoke was more comedic a lot of the time. And Tyler and Simon Grafter, they're all they're all sort of comic relief characters. But Harper is gritty, nitty, serious. He kind of holds the cast together as yeah, well. Yeah. Yeah. Um and without him there'd be no show. So I just want to say a very special thanks to Ewan for putting his heart and soul into this specific performance. We are not at all disappointed with what you've achieved here, so thank you. And not only that, but Ewan, as you all are aware, is actually the producer of the show as well. He has helped a lot with organisation, running people places, picking people up, going to get props, helping me source material that I've needed for it. He's really, really, really done well with this show. And on top of that, has done all his own stunts. I need to put that in there, or else he'll shoot me. He will shoot you. Yeah. Introducing our next character, this would be the sort of main side character, I guess. Um, it is Detective Freddy Sharp, and he is played by one of our newest members, actually, of yeah. the channel, Ross Boyle. Ross, we've only really known for a, the last couple of months, but I think we can both agree that we've been thoroughly impressed of what he's brought. Mm -hmm. He's incredibly talented, and considering this is his first... Uh, time on screen, especially with us as well. He's really just not right out of the park. For such a serious role as well as Freddy, he's very hurt, he's very tormented. You can absolutely believe it when you watch him and you watch his performance. He just, he truly brings it to life. fact about Freddy is that back years ago when we were supposed to do this the first time round, he was supposed to be my part. Um, but, you know, we kind of for this time round went in a different direction and he's done that well that I can honestly not imagine myself playing that no, part I anymore. Was, we were even talking about that, like the way we've cast it now, like we couldn't see Freddie as anybody else now. No, so he's truly made it his own and yeah. it's just we commend him for that. Um yeah, we're buzzing for you to see to see what he has and we're also buzzing to see what he can bring going forward as well after this. Yeah. Because he's He's so capable, and I think he's so capable of lots of other stuff. I don't actually think um, Ross.co.uk mate realises how <laughs> how talented he is, because very often I tell him and he kind of goes, yep. and I'm like, no, mate, you, don't, you think I'm just saying it, but I'm really not. Very self-preserved, is that the right word? Yeah, I'd yeah. say so. Which isn't a bad thing at all. He's very, very easy to work with. Always comes to shoots on time and I haven't got a bad word to say about him, genuinely. Yeah. Um, and we commend you for your performance as Freddie, genuinely. I mean, it was almost as if the character was written for you. It, it's perfect. So, well done, Ross. Again, 
we're very proud. Next up on the cast list is somebody brand new to the channel. Um, Mary Smith, who I met, oh god, in January this year. Um, when I was in a stage show at the Fort Theatre called Liza Strata, we met and um, well, we just became friends through that, really, and I asked her if she wanted a part, and she was like, yeah, yeah, I'll give it a go, and whoa! Mia was born, and I was like, yes, <laughs> you were meant to play Mia. But again, turns up to set on time, always brings what's required, um, whether that be costumes, or, um, you know, she comes knowing the script usually as well, or knowing parts of it at least, which is always really helpful. And, again, commendable for your performance, as it's the first time for you on screen. It's really as incredible what you've managed to bring to the part. I think I think the chemistry that has been brought with both Mary and Ross is just <clears throat> we probably couldn't have imagined it to go any better, to be honest. Um it's it's very obviously you've not seen it yet, uh, but it's very natural. It's yeah. very it's not forced. A lot of shows you watch can sometimes feel like it's you can see the effort. But for this, you can't. But um, yeah, it's it's so refreshing as well to have a bit of like newness, I suppose. Yeah, like, new um, faces are always something because it makes you believe that the other characters as well. Yeah. Instead of Matt playing multiple roles, <laughs> and say that's why you had to think of that storyline that he was in fact all the characters deliberately. Next up, we have another new face. This is quite the trend on this show. We have. Got so many new faces that we're showing you. Um, next one is Aaron, uh, who plays uh, the lawyer. His name escapes me every time. <laughs> Bernie Crooker. Which Bernie Crooker. Aaron actually thought of the name for that character, and I was like, "That is perfect." Very um, based on, you know, your sleazy lawyer, like your Saul Goodman kind of guy, who, which is weird because Aaron has never seen one episode of Breaking Bad in his life. <laughs> Um, I think he's seen the first one. He's, he's seen literally the first episode where Saul's not even in it. But yeah, from what we've seen, this is also his first time on screen. Uh, he's a stage actor, but this is his first time in front of a camera. And yeah, it, admittedly it took him a little while to get used to it, but after he kind of warmed up to it and got used to it, because it is a difficult thing to get used to, um, yeah, he once again was absolutely fantastic. I think we we're going to see a lot more of his character. As I said, he's only in two scenes, but I'm sure that you're not going to see the last of him once this is done. Um, big plans for him, I'm sure. Yeah. But um, yeah, thoroughly impressed with, with his work. Um, and yeah, we're just looking forward to you seeing that. Next up on the list is the oldest member of the cast, William Sampson, who is a fellow filmmaker, writer, director like myself, and has actually won awards for his short films and um, videos. It's such an honour to have somebody with a background like him involved in this. I didn't think I'd be able to convince him to come on because I'm not sure if he was too keen on the script the first time he, wrote, uh, he read it, but I think he's grown to like the character quite a bit because he's played him the way I envisioned and again, I couldn't be happier with his performance. He is Sergeant Juarez. You know, I haven't got anything bad. It always turns up, again, for shoots, always gives it his all. Usually knows the script before he turns up to shoots as well. He's by far the most experienced member probably on set, but just because of how long he's been doing it. Um, I have filmed a few scenes with him. Um, I've actually directed a few scenes um, with him as well um, and he's very very professional he always has a lot of questions when it comes to the script yeah. I think that's just part of um, actors. actors and how long he's been doing it the fact he writes his own stuff as well is probably a big part of it um, but yeah he's a very valuable asset to have on this show um, and he also he does bring a realness to Sergeant Juarez's character. He's very good and yeah, he'll, I think he will surprise a lot of you on just how good he is. Again, William, thanks so much for your time um, and I'm 
I'm so happy you're involved with this and I'm glad you enjoyed it as well. Next up, we have a more senior member of the channel. You've seen him many a times before. You've seen him in productions such as Sons of Satan, such as Dobber and Grafter. The main character in Dobber and Grafter, might I add. This is Kieran Smith. Also known as Cornhubs. Schmiffles. Kieran, admittedly, in this does have a smaller role. He plays Ryan, who is uh, Freddy's ex-partner. We're not going to reveal too much on it. As I said, it is quite a small role. But he is in it, yeah, fairly briefly. But for the time he's on it, he is just as what he's in before. He is excellent. But yeah, with Harper, he is he's crucial because the story we're trying to tell is a long-term one. And... Ryan really fits it like you wouldn't imagine and if you had any idea what's going on in these sick heads of ours you would understand but when you come to see it you might not just yet but you know he is just just watch out for him is all I say. I just want to say a huge thank you to Kieran again because I don't think he realises just how valuable he is and we always love having him on set. We love working with him because he's so easy to work with. Yes. Um, takes direction superbly. Will do just about anything you want him to do to get a shot to look good, regardless if it's going to cause him injury. <laughs> he will be doing it. <laughs> Next up on the cast list is somebody you have known for years. He's one of the very first members on the channel and the longest standing member, if I am correct in saying that. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. yeah, longest standing member of the channel um, at eight years now, I believe, which is the man sitting to my, my left here. Eight and great years, I must say. Yeah, no, I wouldn't change anything. The performances you've given over the years have been phenomenal. Thank you. And you never fail to impress me with the characters that you bring to life. Especially now in Harper, where he's playing, again, the baddie. Surprise. Sure. Uh, he's playing Joseph Fargo, who is the prime suspect of a murder. And Matt plays this character with so much emotion. Because this character, in my opinion, this character is the hardest character to play. It's the first time on camera I've actually cried. Um, I've never managed to do it before until now. There's one scene where, yeah, I just kind of... You need, you need to kind of see it to understand it, but you there's, break down, basically. there's one scene where he breaks down and you can understand fully why. And yeah, I, I managed to get a few tears out and that was... Yeah, I was, I, was, I was very proud of myself for doing that, I suppose, but... As you should be, it's not an easy thing to do. Joe Fargo is tormented. He's... He's fucked up and the, the most difficult thing about him is he's been made that way. It's sad to see and it's sad to watch and it's sad to kind of watch his his fall but it's gripping and I'm very... I probably couldn't have asked to play a better character in this. Um, as I said before, I was originally supposed to play Freddy but now, I just couldn't imagine playing anyone else but, but Joe. Your performance of Joe Fargo has been your best one, by far. Like, if we had a wrong note bros BAFTAs, like, you'd be getting BAFTA for your performance as Joe Fargo. That's actually not a bad it's idea. It's not, is it? Can we we should actually do that. that. We yeah. should actually do that. Let us know in the comments if you would like to see a wrong note BAFTAs. Best director goes to Craig Wilde. <laughs> yes, mate. Because he's the only one. <laughs> I'm my own worst critic as well, so a lot of the time when I do different characters, I kind of go, mm, it's okay, but it wasn't as good as this one, or, you know, I thought I could have done that a little bit better. This is probably one of the very few times I've played a character and went, yeah, this is probably, this is the best one I've done so far. I played Axel nearly six years ago now, which is scary to think about. You were just a kid when I was you just played like, I was just a wee kid. I was, I was 17. I'm now 23 and I've grown up a little bit. And, you know, from that to Django Moody, 
Again, it wasn't too much older there. I was only about 18, maybe 19 at the time. Uh, Dodgy Dave and now, now Joe Fargo. And I think if we look at all of those and we kind of assess them, for me, it's the best part I've ever played. And yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm so excited for you to, to witness it. And yeah. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Last but certainly not least is Shelley Michaels as the tormented mother of a victim to a murder. A murder. A murder. Target. Shelley, again, was... I met Shelley at the theatre, uh, the production I did of Liza Strata. Um, she was cast as Liza Strata and I looked at her and went, yeah, you can act. I'll ask you if you want to be involved in this. And she was interested and she did a addition and again straight away I just looked at her and went you are perfect for Emma Collins. Oh no she's 36 isn't she? Yeah she's 36. She's 36 and which is strange because we don't have many characters that actually act their age. Yeah. And Shelley in real life is 36 and she's playing a 36 year old which is very odd but it's it makes it very real. That's what we wanted for this show we wanted it to be the realest thing we've kind of done um and yeah she really helps with that i'd say mm -hmm. and lastly we have to give it up for the director here craig lambs candy so craig how long have you been planning this for seven years seven seven years, years i've been planning this so 2016 so just after Sons of Satan was made, I think. So Sons of Satan, bit of in case you didn't know this, but Sons of Satan was actually done because we couldn't do Harper, um, and Sons of Satan was literally it was supposed to be almost like a filler to give the audience because we weren't going to be doing Harper for the foreseeable future. Sons of Satan has now kind of entered the universe of Harper, or should I say Harper has maybe entered the universe of Sons of Satan. Aye. But uh, yeah, and now seven years later in 2023, who we might have even thought this channel might not have been going right up until then, mm -hmm. we did take a little break in between, but like we're finally doing it. And how proud are you? Oh, I'm over the moon about it. Like, it's, it's been the everybody on the channel will tell you, Craig, I have been wanting to do this, I've always said. And it got to the point where Ewan was like, mate, we're not getting it done, mate. <laughs> I was like, no, I will get it done. If I want something done, I'll get it done. It's truly been seven years worth of the wait. Yeah. Um, and final thing I'll ask you, is this the best thing we've ever done? I think it could be. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Who cares? Not me. <gasps> Subscribe! <laughs> you on the way and laughs every time I do it. And we will catch you on the other side of the Piccadilly dustbins. Piccadilly dustbins? Aye, mate. What happened to the circus? The circus is in tune. Did it get thrown in the dustbin? They got die, mate. The circus is gone, mate. Oh, that's a shame. It's the Piccadilly dustbins I, now. I miss, I miss the circus, you know. Bye! Watch Harper, please.